All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Uh, what we're doing today, uh, we actually uh, started our epoxy uh, from thebetterboat.com and it's starting to get tacky now. You do need it around 70, 77 degrees. Luckily it's warmer in here. It's like a greenhouse. Got the cushions drying. They've been hanging there since yesterday. But today's video is gonna be on the teak cleaner set. And what we got here, once again, from the Better Boat, teak cleaning kit. Looks like we got the scouring pad, sponge, and the scrubber, also the instructions. And we got teak bright. And teak sealer. Comes with a brush, which is nice, so you can put it on. And teak cleaner. So we're gonna go ahead and head out to our Marquise 160 boat. And we're gonna go ahead and start taking off uh, all the teak pieces we can. We're gonna bring them back and start redoing them. All right, so here we are at the Marquise 160. This is the boat we're redoing right now. Uh, we're going to be do, redoing all the upholstery and everything, getting it all cleaned up and ready to go. So you can see this teak, it's all dried, worn out, faded, discolored. So let's go ahead and take these off and go around the boat and get the rest of them. And we'll also be able to clean underneath here, get it all nice and waxed and cleaned up again before we go throwing these back on. Oh yeah, we're gonna clean these up really good. They're gonna be brand new again. Yeah, definitely clean underneath that stuff. There we go, Marquise 160. And we did the chrome polish on this, and we cleaned the hole on this as well with the betterboat.com cleaning supplies and hull remover, hull cleaner. Okay, so we grabbed a bunch of the uh, teak pieces off of it. Let's go ahead and bring these back to the shop and go ahead and get them back to new. Now that we got our teak pieces out here, these are gonna need a good scrubbing. So we're gonna take this piece here and we're gonna work it into there and it should look just like that. And what we're gonna do, we'll move these down. Before we go using our teak cleaner here, um, we got some clean water here. And we're going to go ahead and get these in and scrub off all this stuff on here and get these nice and clean. So right now, the first step before using this is clean water and a scrubby on your teak. And we can get these soaking in here. And we're going to do one at a time here. Yeah, get all that stuff up. Yeah. Look at that stuff. Scrub them really good. 
And you want to go with the grain of the wood while doing this. Look at that. You can already tell the difference between scrubbing and getting the gunk off there. All right, so we got them all cleaned up and scrubbed off. Let's go ahead and place them out in the sun and let them dry, and then we'll be able to get into our teak cleaner once they're dry. All right, so now that these are all dried off and scrubbed, we're gonna go ahead and use the teak cleaner here. So let's open this up. And just like we did with the, just the water on these, we're gonna go apply some on here and we're gonna clean these off with the teak cleaner and then we're gonna go ahead and dip them in the water and then let them dry. Now I'll set this outside, let it dry, and we're gonna do the same thing with the other ones. So now we just need to let the rest of them dry, and then we can go ahead and do the teak brightener. And then we only have one more step after that, and that's the teak sealer. So let's let them dry and then get back to it. Now that these are all cleaned off with the teak cleaner, and they're dry now, we go ahead and apply the teak bright. And this is gonna brighten it up and make it look new again here and we're gonna go ahead and use the sponge here so let's go ahead and start getting these done and we'll apply some on the sponge here And we're gonna let this sit on there for about two minutes. All right, so now that they sat for two minutes, let's go ahead and rinse them off in the water and then put them outside and let them dry again. So now it's time for our teak sealer. All of these are all dried out now. And we'll go ahead and start painting it on. Put a little bit in here. And we'll go ahead and hang these up to dry. And uh, you gotta wait 24 hours in between coats. Uh, they recommend two coats. So this will be the first coat and then we'll do another one tomorrow. Got those all hanging to dry and we'll do another coat tomorrow. It's the next day. Um, let's go ahead and pour out a little more teak sealer and we're gonna do our second coat on our teak and we should be all set. Uh, once it dries from there, we'll be able to go ahead and install it back on the boat. So let's take a look at it. All right, so they're looking good. Remember how they're all white and faded and actually looks really good now.
All right, those are looking good. So now let's go ahead and let that dry and then we can go ahead and install them. All right, well, we're waiting for the teak to dry. Let's go ahead and use some Better Boat Instant Hull Cleaner. And that should take those right out. Get rid of all that undercoating that's been under the teak for God knows how long. Look at this. All right, let's let that sit for a minute. All right, we got our bucket and we got our water. Let's go ahead and wipe this off. Definitely a lot better. So now the surface will be nice when we go to put the teak back on. And we'll just continue around the boat and get the rest of it. Oh, they're just a little bit wet down here at the bottom, but we can go ahead and install them on here now. And I wanted to show you the difference. This is what they did look like compared to how they are now. So there you go. There's a good comparison. So make sure to check out thebetterboat.com. Get your teak set and you can restore all your teak. So let's go ahead and start mounting these back on. Look how good that looks. And once again, just for comparison, that's what they did look like. So yeah, that looks great. Go ahead and start getting other pieces on. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so there we go. Looks good. Oh yeah. And now we just have these two last pieces to go ahead and get done. And they go on the inside here. We'll have to clean that off and do the same thing we did with all these. Yeah. It's brand new. That's awesome. All right. All right, so we're all set here. Uh, so make sure to check out thebetterboat.com and get your teak set and go ahead and redo your stuff. I have a lot more boats here that I'm gonna have to uh, be using the teak on. So stay tuned for future videos on that. And uh, I'm also gonna post uh, the other videos uh, that I did for thebetterboat.com and you'll be able to click on them at, at the end of the end screen here. So, all right, guys, once again, we guys hope you like, enjoy, subscribe, and as usual, we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye, guys. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf, we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye, Obo. Bye, guys. <laughs>